Hey everybody, wanted to show you a little something I've been working on today. Uh, this is my 1999 Toyota Camry LE uh, V6, five speed standard shift. Uh, two years ago I installed a factory TRD Toyota uh, supercharger on it. Uh, it's been great. I mean, this thing really um, is a quick car. Uh, feels like something in the you know, mid 14 second range. Uh, recently, I bought a smaller supercharger pulley for it to bring me up to about uh, seven pounds of boost from the factory 3.2. There's a pill of anti seize there. Um, and I only need this pulley on there for a day while I uh, bring it to the track. Um, other than that, I'm going to bring it back to the uh, stock supercharger setup so I can remove most of what I did here. Um, but I want to give you a little uh, show of, of what I did to get the extra fuel. Um, so I put the smaller pulley on. I did verify that I was getting about seven pounds of uh, boost. And I also noticed I was running very lean, which I sort of anticipated because uh, in stock form with the three and a half inch pulley, it tends to run a little bit lean, um, but everything in here is factory. All the injectors, everything else, um, and the computer is able to compensate it through the mass airflow sensor right there. Um, however, um, because I was putting more than what it was supposed to uh, take, um, I started running a little lean, heard a little bit of pinging, was watching the oxygen sensor uh, voltages, and I was verified that I was running lean, and I don't really want to blow this one up just yet. I'm hoping to get just one night out of it, so I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I knew I needed a little extra fuel. How much? Not really sure. Um, so I, uh, to be honest with you, mom's a little embarrassed to show this to you. Um, I have, uh, to add extra fuel, I basically added a seventh fuel injector. Now, this right here is a cold start injector off of a Saab. I believe this was a Saab, Saab or Toyota. I think it was a Saab. Um, and how this worked was uh, when the car was cold, um, this injector would come on and add a little extra fuel into the engine uh, to help get it started. Um, you know, it only ran for a couple seconds. You know, that's all injectors are really made to do. Um, but I basically put one in the intake path. So when I nail the gas pedal all the way to the floor, when I really pin it, this injector is going to open and it's going to allow fuel that comes through the uh, through the fuel line. This is teed in right, right to the fuel filter, uh, right before the fuel filter. And it's going to go right into the intake stream and then go into the engine, disperse through the manifold into the cylinders. Um, again, this is not metered, and I don't know exactly how much I'm adding, um, but should be enough to get me through a night. Uh, and here's my other little setup over here. Uh, I don't mind the drywall screws. Those are temporary until I can get some 630-second ones. I just got to run to the store. Um, I have a motorcycle uh, horn switch here that I <laughs> pulled off a buddy's bike probably about six or eight years ago. And when I press this, you can actually hear the injector start clicking away. So um, this is attached to the throttle body. The throttle linkage is right here. When I step on the gas pedal, it's going to pull on this cable. And at about 80%, it activates the switch. And when that switch happens, obviously, it adds a little extra fuel. Uh, when I was driving it, I was monitoring oxygen sensor voltages through the scan tool. Uh, sensor one and sensor two in the back just to make sure i'm sorry bank one and bank two uh just to make sure that i was running rich and yes it was very rich it was actually pegged rich um, but that's a lot better than being lean so we have 270 on the clock and it, it really really does run good Sensor one, bank two sensor one, okay. Do a graph merge so I can watch both of these sensors um, voltages at the same time. Here I have a very temporary boost gauge setup along with a light that happens at wide open throttle. So Anytime that injector is on, that, that light is on as well, 
So if something happens and the injector stops, this light will stop and I will hopefully be able to lift before I do any damage. But I know that there's really no load on it right now, so these aren't going to be too accurate, but... But they did spike there before I lifted. So I should be in the clear. We'll see what happens. Uh, hoping for a low 14 second quarter this time. Um, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Wish me luck.